touted as one of the happiest countries on earth, a place that supports its citizens but also lends a helping hand. But now that reputation is at stake, with critics likening its proposed policies toward refugees to those of Nazi Germany. What has uh, made this uh, discussion start is more or less the fact that people have such an idea that uh, Denmark is like uh, some kind of paradise which you can just uh, arrive to and then you will get whatever you need and that is not the case any longer. And if Parliament's majority has their way on Tuesday, police will soon be allowed to take from refugees any cash or valuables above 1,450 U.S. dollars. Uh, we have had uh, many, many asylum seekers coming to Denmark, and we have to uh, respond by that, to that by uh, taking care of our country, our national country, taking care of the welfare system, which will uh, totally uh, be devastated if we uh, if we continue the uh, policies the lax policies we've we'd led for some years now politicians say the policy will help pay for welfare and integration programs and that a similar system applies to Danes but Andreas Kahn with the Danish Refugee Council says the move is more symbolic uh, probably no refugees coming to Denmark have value valuables in the level of 10,000 Danish kroner. So uh, it is primarily a signal uh, that uh, don't go to Denmark. We are very tough uh, up here. Not only will this new law affect refugees entering the country, it will also have an impact on others who are already here. Around a fifth of refugees with temporary protection status will have to wait three years before they can apply to reunite with their families. A year ago, this platform would have been filled with refugees seeking asylum in Denmark. But harsher laws to deter refugees appear to be working. This new law is not a law for refugees. It's a racist law by the Danish people. They don't tell you that you have to go back to the country that you came from, but slowly it becomes that way. Me and all my Iraqi friends, we will eventually go back to Baghdad. Denmark took in 20,000 refugees last year. And while it says it can't cope with the numbers, others say it's turning its back on its humanity. Kilmany Ducart, TRT World, Copenhagen.